So in today's video, my job is quite simple. I'm gonna put both of these mats to the test. I'm gonna try and identify the difference between the two. And if I was to make an investment to improve my game during this winter, then which one would I choose? Right, the first thing I want to talk about is the quality of the prime put fabric. It is really, really impressive. I've used this mat a couple of years ago, uh, slight tweak to it to what I'm using today, but essentially it is a real high quality material that they use and it's very much a good representation of what you'd expect on a decent putting green. And by that, it rolls really true. It's a real tight knit fabric. It's heavy duty enough to, when you see me roll it out and set it up, straight out the box, even though it's been sort of curled up, it soon becomes very, very flat and it's got enough weight in it just to keep it in a perfect, straight out the box, ready to put. So I love the fabric. And what you'll see when we eventually have a little bit of a, a put at this, the roll is extremely true and very much representative of a putting green which is hugely significant essentially that's what we're looking to represent now you'll also notice that that grabbed the hole just slightly on the left hand side of the cup what prime put claim is that they've got again a direct representation of what an actual uh, how a hole is cut on a putting green and by that if it's going to grab the left hand side then that's exactly what will happen as you've just seen with that put there so again it's very realistic and very much like what i would expect to uh to take out onto a golf course the other interesting bit and this uh, i said i've made a difference between the mat i tried earlier i tried a shorter mat and there's varying sizes that you can order this is actually 12 foot long by three foot wide and then I've had a standing pad, which again is a big deal for me. I found out that even if you wanted to aim to this sort of left hand um, hole, you can move the pad to one side. Otherwise you're standing on a different level, if you like. And that's not again, ideal. That was a pull. Still managed to get that one in. I think uh, we created a slight break there. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just such a high quality product. That's the one key thing I would say you'll recognize it straight away. Quality of the fabric, the way the ball runs is extremely true. And as you can see, it's also very, very easy to set up. I thought it was gonna go three and three, didn't quite hit that. It's got a good pace on it as well. And something that is, like I said, highly representative of the real thing. Now one key consideration is obviously the price of these mats. And currently, and I say currently, because I think the prices can very much fluctuate, but as UK, it is showing that the 12 by three mat is 453 pound. And there's a, a bit of a discount that is applied right now with that 453. But I would check out obviously US pricing, again, is gonna be different, but 450 quid. Now to my mind, that's a hefty investment. That's a lot of money but I think it's very much reflective in the product and the quality rather of the product you're buying. And again, there are very much different sizes. Hopefully we've got that on screen for you now that you can choose to buy. I think the 12 by three is pretty much perfect because you get to try every length of put uh, that I think is realistic, what you're gonna want to try and practice. Anything shorter than 12 foot or anything longer rather than 12 foot, I don't really think is the type of put that you are gonna practice. So yeah, decent guide price very much the extra large mat as they refer to it, 450 pound. So bear that in mind and we'll move on to putting mat number two. Right, so the second map we're gonna look at is from Putout. Now we're all very familiar with Putout. They created that little um, sort of 
uh, practice aid that sold by the millions, no doubt, and they've been incredibly successful. And they've brought out what is uh, a product known as Airbrake, and uh, it will soon become, if you've not seen this before, you'll soon learn the reason as to why it's called Airbrake. And it's very much a funky little thing. Uh, I didn't take much notice of the instructions until very much last uh, at the end there, when I was trying to work out something, but essentially, you see now it folds out relatively easy, um, and then these little gadgets on the side will create or will start to uh, create a break in the put. But I just want to talk about first of all in this sort of standard position. First thing to mention, it is eight foot by 2.2 feet, um, which I think I would say is a possible slight negative. That's a, a very narrow um, area to put from first of all. And then the second thing is obviously length of put is pretty one dimensional. We're, we're practicing uh, what is a sort of seven foot put. We could sort of inch away closer, but I feel like it could do with being just a little bit longer and perhaps a little bit wider. The turf or, or fabric, whatever you want to call it, is more carpet like. Um, so comparing to the other product, Prime Put, I would say this is not as premium as a product and not as reflective of turf, that's the thing I would say. It suggests it run at 10 on the stim. So first of all, if I'm set up in a kind of, very much a standard flat put, we've pulled that one down the left hand side. There's a little bit of a foam backstop, which is great to stop you having to go and pick your ball up all the time. And if you do manage to hold a put, we'll try one more, although we haven't got, uh, what I'm about to talk about. Ooh, that was a nice little lip out. There is a, as we've seen in the past, there's a little pop up there where the ball will get fired back to you. I've not got any batteries because I didn't realize it was required and the ball will fire out the hole if you ever hold one or if I ever hold one and fire it back to you. I like that idea. But the big difference with put out to any other mat that we've seen so far on the marketplace are these little gadgets here. And essentially what they do and you can do this by hand or you can use your foot, is they raise whichever side of the mat you are looking to put air into. And hopefully we can show you some close-ups of this. And what I've created right now is a left to right breaking put. And that can be, uh, well, you can create all kinds of breaks and shapes. You can also sort of pump all the way up from the back end and create a, a, an upward uh, an uphill put and vice versa. We start pumping these up from the back end and we're creating a, uh, a downhill put. So we're going to aim slightly left of cup and see if the brake brings us back in. Really good, really representative of the brake that we thought that we created. It's also worth pointing out there is a little app that you can get onto your phone and it will tell you what sort of um, percentage of brake that you've created and also uh, that's uphill or downhill uh, again the degree in which that slope has been created so very different piece of kit very interesting i'm going to have a little bit of a fiddle a little bit of a play with it and then i'm going to give my sort of overall opinion on how these things differ because they are very much two different pieces of kit right carried on with both of them to be honest with you just have a little bit of a play around and uh, like i said i'm really it's my own personal investment that I'm interested in and how I would look to make use of either of these two through the winter months. And probably you already get the sense of what uh, my thoughts are. The put out mat is probably a lot of fun without being a serious piece of kit that if you want to improve your putting on. I just don't see it as being that. It's a tad gimmicky at this point, I would say. And I think that the next version, maybe some of the things I've highlighted would have to improve. That said, it's also worth pointing out that at the moment, there is a suggestion now that you can't get hold of these. Um, there's a bit of a supply issue. The sort of price point is anything around 250 to 300 pounds, but I can't get confirmation of that because like I said, they've pretty much been withdrawn from sale. There's just a waiting list. So it's a cheaper piece of kit. And if you look at them side by side, you sort of say, well, there's a lot more bells and whistles with this thing. We've got some tubes coming out. We've got all these interesting bits. And this is very much a stripped down 
very simple and simplistic piece of kit, but it is very much representative of a real piece of turf. The holes are really good. We can vary the length of put, so I can practice my sort of four to six footers. I can step back right down the mat and start to create to an area where I think you perhaps would practice, which is kind of like 10 to 12 foot away. Um, whereas again, you can't do that. Also had an issue with sort of the sort of sideboard, the additional piece um, that you stand on with the put out. I didn't feel that it was in the right position. I felt that like my feet were sort of stepping on half and half. Uh, again, not overly keen on that. I like the addition of the fact that we've got a three foot uh, width first of all, and then with the additional sort of standing piece as well, allowing me to put at the three different holes. So, lots of fun with the put out. The brake thing is really interesting. How much it actually represents reality and how much you would take what you learn on there onto a, uh, a, a real green is doubtful. I think what you really want to be practicing is straight puts. And you want to be practicing straight puts, or I do anyway, on a piece of turf that I feel like I'm putting on the real thing. And that's what prime put is. It's an unusual thing where it's very simplistic, it's very much stripped down, but it really, really does work. So for me, my investment without doubt would be in this prime port mat it's spot on but i also understand people who want a little bit of fun um the one last thing i've just thought better fun but also the storage concept is is also interesting that has got to stay as a permanent fixture i don't think you want to be throwing that up and down uh, every five minutes i think there could be issues in terms of uh keeping it in one piece but also it's a little bit awkward whereas if you're going to again fold this away and put it away and bring it out each time you want to practice this rolls up very simple and as you said rolls out very quick and into its position so lots of reasons why i think the prime put is the better option but not necessarily for you anyway that's me done thanks as ever a little bit different it was just my own personal sort of uh, thing that i was deliberating right now i was really interested to try and get hold of the put out and the and the prime put to do a comparison so i thought i'd bring you along for the ride and uh let you know my let let me know your thoughts is there any investment in the winter months into your short game and in this case practice your putting and uh that's me done. I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching.